So, this is Catherine. I feel like I don't even have enough of an agenda to do one of these video clips, but I'm just bored. Bored and lonely. And, um, I have an appointment tomorrow to meet a brand new therapist. And I'm happy to say that I don't really feel anxious about it. I feel like there's a good chance I'm going to go there and they're going to be like, oh, there isn't going to be an appointment after all. Like, I just feel like, you know, they've done that to me before at this practice. So part of me feels like I wonder if it'll even happen. And then the other part of me feels like I, my plan my original plan and what I would like to be my plan is, um, is, um, that I wanted to get back into therapy and try to work on anger management and managing anxiety. Um, you know, I didn't want to try to rehash a lot of things from the past that I still don't totally understand. Um, you know, I just wanted to try to say I want to focus on, you know, managing anger, like, you know, when I feel triggered in my day-to-day -day life and, you know, just not having it be as intense and being able to move on quicker from it, you know, not acting out in public. Um, but, this, the funny part, it's not funny, but it's kind of funny, is that I'm kind of afraid that at the appointment, I feel like there's a good chance that when I talk about anger management and my anger, I feel like there's a good chance that I'm going to get angry. <laughs> like sometimes when I start talking about past incidents that made me angry. Sometimes I get angry again when I'm talking about it. And I mean, I might wake up in a mood tomorrow where that's not the case. I might wake up in a mood and just be able to, you know, talk about some examples of things that have made me angry and where I needed more anger management skills. Um, you know, I might be in that kind of mood tomorrow. I might just be calm. But I feel like another part of me thinks that I might be in a mood like I am today where I might just start getting angry talking about my anger and situations that have made me angry. But even if that happens, at least she'll be seeing the problem live and up close. It won't be like she has to imagine it. It'll be like she'll see it. Um, you know, like I picture myself saying, do you think I need the lamictal increased? Do I seem a little intense to you? <laughs> like I picture myself being like, is this a little intense? Am I a little intense? Do I seem a little intense? Like, you know... Yeah, like, sometimes I just feel angry thinking about anger, past anger, you know, I, I'm an angry person, I am, I've become an angry person, and sometimes I just don't care, it's like I just get in a mood where I'm just like, I just don't care, and I just want to be angry and that's it, you know? So I don't know, maybe I'm not a good candidate for therapy. Maybe I'm not motivated enough, you know? Um, maybe I need to be more medicated first. I don't know, but I'm going to try to go to the appointment and I'll try to be reasonable and talk about my anger management stuff in a reasonable manner, but it may or may not ha happen. You know, like if she asked me, 
about my previous experience at her clinic, at her practice, when I tried to get hooked up with a psychiatrist, like, I might end up getting angry again when I'm talking about it. Um, especially if I see, if I see the psychiatrist in the waiting room, like, I feel like I'm going to want to give him a dirty look or I'm going to want to smirk at him sarcastically. So all of that might make me be angry in the session with the new therapist. Like, I kind of want to mock the psychiatrist at that practice. Like, I kind of want to imitate him. Like, both times I met with him... He was so anxious to get me out of his office, even though I hadn't been there long and even though I hadn't said much. He was so anxious to get me out of his office that both times he, like, stood up and, like, scampered over to the door on his skinny little legs, his skinny little chicken legs, and was and made this, like, hand gesture, like, waving like, waving me out the door to follow him to the front desk. And, like, I feel like I kind of want to imitate him in the new therapist's office, like, standing up and scurrying over to the door <laughs> with his skinny little legs, just like, come on, come on, let's go to the front desk and make an appointment with someone else, like... Like, I get like that. It's almost like being angry and being silly at the same time where I just want to mock the shit out of him. And if I do that, I'm going to come off as totally, like, anti-gay because the guy is gay and he's one of these gay men who, like, wears pink pants. One of the times I met him, he was wearing pink pants on his skinny little legs. And... I'm going to come off as so anti-gay if I start mocking and imitating him to the brand new therapist. I'm going to be, like, imitating, you know, the way he talked and, like, I'm going to sound like the biggest anti-gay bigot. And I don't want to, but sometimes it's like I can't help myself. I don't know. I mean, I like gay people in general, but I didn't like him. I didn't like this particular gay person, this particular gay male.